Hey there, Scorpio. Uh, welcome to your reading for the week of November 27th. This week, check out astrojar.com for more awesome readers and astrologers. Uh, also this week, I'm doing a 30% off sale for 2018 readings. For more details, just look in the description below. But let's see what we have going on for you this week. Uh, looks really good. You start off with the uh, Five of Hearts. I'd just say be careful of what people are saying to you this week. I feel like this came up for you last week as well, uh, and, and definitely the message I'm getting at this time. You know, don't uh, you know? Don't take anything secondhand. Basically, if somebody tells you that you know so and so said this, or your boyfriend's cheating on you, or anything like that, you know, ask the person directly. Sometimes I think that this card can represent you know hearing things from somebody else about somebody else, and then you know, it's not the truth. So. Just be careful of those types of situations. You'll get everything firsthand from the person that you are talking to or thinking about or you heard something about. Uh, so no no rumors, no gossip this week. Next, you have the Six of Hearts. Turn around in the energy. Cancer had the same card. Uh, wouldn't be surprised if Pisces gets the same card as well. Uh, seeing a turnaround in the energy this week, a lot of people have been getting this message of a turnaround, some sort of better, better energy coming up. A uh, great card for soulmates as well. So again, if you're single, uh, there could be some sort of soulmate coming in for you at this time. And a great card for just being on the right path. It says you are doing the right things you need to be doing uh, at this time to be more successful. And uh, yeah, I would say it's also an amazing card for negotiating. I wouldn't normally say that, but you have the uh, Ten of Diamonds coming up as well. So if you're dealing with any contracts, buying any real estate, anything along those lines, a very positive card. Next, again, you have the Ten of Diamonds. Great card for money and more money coming in. Very good card. Great card for trying something new in your business if you have a business. Uh, same thing with work. It's a great card for trying to take extra risks at work or taking on learning opportunities. Uh, amazing card for learning, like I said, to all the water signs. You know, for the next three years with Saturn and Capricorn, anything that water signs learn uh, becomes profitable. So learn as much as you can over the next three years, I would say at least. Uh, really, we should be learning our whole entire lives, but uh, definitely over the next three years, try to learn as much as you can about probably your career field. And, um, you know, if you're retired, learn about investing or learn about something extra there, because I do feel like it'll be very beneficial to your income. Next, you have the Eight of Diamonds. Future success or, you know, financial success on the horizon is the traditional meaning of this card. So I do feel like there could be more money, more earnings coming in for you in the near future. Uh, this card can represent paying attention to small details as well. I want to say this came up for Taurus maybe or somebody somebody came up for. But I do feel like this week is asking us to pay attention to small details. Probably not even just this week. Probably the next like few months are asking us to really kind of have a plan when we move forward. Have a plan for what we are doing in the future as well. Next you have the Ace of Hearts. Uh, a very good card. A lot of people have been getting this card as well. Uh, great card for family. Spending time with family. I'd say with all these hearts cards you have here. Could be a great time for family or friends more specifically. Uh, this card represents a home and it represents where you live. So more specifically, it's not, I don't really consider it a love card is what I'm trying to say. I consider it a card of security, you know, safety, security in your life and also where you live. So some of you could be moving as well or thinking about moving or traveling away from home uh, with this card. And then finally, you have the Joker as well. This card represents the Joker this week. And this card says, that you could be very busy at this time. I'd say 10 of diamonds, you know, doing a lot, trying to focus on a lot of different things and having a lot of focuses this week in general. Uh, you know, so you could be kind of spread out, uh, but the Joker gives you the energy to do that, gives you the energy to focus on a lot of different things at once and not get too kind of lost in everything that you're focusing on. So I do really like to see this card for you as well with all this busy energy kind of going on around you but uh looks like an awesome week for you for sure definitely very positive uh so thank you for watching and enjoy your week